Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Content Holic. I hope you are fit and fine and working on your SOP for getting admission into your desired program at your desired university. I am sure while creating your SOP on your own, you will be wondering what's the actual difference between the 500 words SOP and the 1000 words SOP. What's the reason behind this gap and why it matters the most to adhere to it? See, there are lakhs of applications that the admissions committee need to address in order to complete the admission procedure and grant you admission. As a result, it becomes somewhat difficult for them to examine all their SOPs in a short period of time. Hence, they prioritize it as per the ability on how many words can they take into consideration and how much is satisfactory. On this basis, they publish the guidelines which include the word count, which every applicant must take into account while constructing their SOPs. See, adherence to this is what matters the most in this context. If you don't follow the specific word count as published by the university to which you have applied, then you will face rejection. Make sure your SOP meets all the requirements as set by your chosen university, failing of which will lead you rejection. Well, swimming in the pool of confusion is normal and all your doubts are relevant here. As a consequence, today we will be discussing everything about a 500 words SOP and 1000 words SOPs and what is the major difference between the two in this video. Firstly, we will be talking about 500 words SOPs. Let's discuss this. You need to understand that the word count of every SOP varies from university to university. You need to address the guidelines that are published by the university to which you have applied. The universities that demand for 500 words SOP are very few in number, so you need to search and observe carefully from the most reliable sources. The format of 500 words SOPs will be constructed starting from your introduction motivation for pursuing the particular course and it has to be brief, concise and crisp. Then you need to mention about your academic background in just two to three lines. The admissions committee doesn't want an explanation for your academia here, but they want to know more about your achievements, your strengths, certifications, areas where you have worked hard and got success and so on. If you have any work experience, then make sure to mention it here only. In addition to this, you will talk about the reasons that drive your interest in pursuing the particular course. Talk about your motivation and why, want, why you want uh, to take your career ahead with it. If you need to explain this point extensively in about 150, you need to explain this point extensively in about 150 to 200 words as to why uh, you want to pursue the particular course and how it aligns with your future career. Furthermore, explain your desire to study at a particular university to which you have applied. Talk about its infrastructure, facilities, environment of study, quality of education, alumni, uh, events and so on uh, which became a driving factor for you to choose this university for your studies. Then you have to mention your career goals in just three to four lines and after that conclude your SOP with a positive note. The conclusion will itself have to be completed in two to three lines only. You must always remember that 500 words SOPs are concise and condensed documents and you, are must, you must avoid exaggeration in them. If you add extra stuffing then it will take up to this take up the space of the relevant information and the reader might get confused and bored with your application. Make sure to follow the brevity rule in your 500 words SOPs so that the reader will be engaged uh, till the last and will not lose interest in your application. Now let's come to the 1000 words SOPs. See, the general word count of the majority of the SOPs for almost all the universities is 800 to 1000 words. Here we have to talk about everything in extra detail. This document is comprehensive, extensive and panoramic. Here you have to maintain brevity but can exaggerate a little. 
The format of your 1000 words SOP will begin with your introduction where you will mention about yourself, your hobbies, passion, ambitions, etc. in a concise manner. Make sure to start your SOP with an anecdote, quote or a, you know, a motivation that prompted you to pursue the particular course. Then you need to mention your academic background extensively. Okay, the admissions committee wants to know more about your academia, how you were at the time of your schooling, achievements, certifications, strengths, areas where you have worked hard and got success and so on. Talking about your academic background will help the admissions committee to assess that you are the best fit for the course and that you have applied for. That you have applied for. Any work experience if you have had in the past, then make sure to mention it here only. In addition to this, you will talk about the reasons that drive your interest in pursuing the particular course. Talk about your motivation and why you want to take your career ahead with it. You need to explain why you want to pursue the particular course and how it aligns with your future career. Furthermore, Explain your desire to study at the particular university to which you have applied. Talk about its infrastructure, facilities, environment of study, quality of education, faculty, ranking, alumni, events, and so on, which, you know, which emerged as a driving factor for you to choose this university to continue your studies. You must explain how studying at this university will provide you the exposure and how it will contribute to achieving your career goals in the future. Doing this will help the admissions committee to examine that you, are, you did good research about the university and you are a perfect fit to go and study there and will work hard for the development of the university. Then you have to mention your career goals explain how pursuing the particular course from this specific university will help to achieve them. Make sure to mention where you want to see yourself in the future after the termination of your studies. After that, conclude your SOP with sincerity and gratitude. Closing your SOP with a strong paragraph is key to convincing the higher authorities to review and consider your SOP. You need to show your sincerity here as it is the ending paragraph of your SOP. Your application should summarize the main points of your SOP and state how much interested you are in studying at this specific university. Be sure to end your SOP with the positive and confident note. Both 500 words and 1000 words SOPs should have to be correlated with your motivation to pursue the course that you have opted for. Your academic background and graduation or the post-graduation should have to be linked together and reflect your interest in how passionate you are to take your career ahead with it. Now, I hope I made almost everything clear regarding the differences between the 500 and 1000 words SOPs. But if you still feel, uh, you know, if you're still getting confused or you're struggling to maintain brevity, or in concluding relevant information in your SOP or you do not possess good writing skills then please feel free to seek help from our personal, uh, professional and experienced SOP writers. We at Contentholic have been working since 2011 and have gained immense experience and expertise in providing the best SOP writing services. Our professional SOP writers have 12 plus years of experience in writing best quality SOP with the greatest acceptance rate in both Indian and foreign universities. We work uh, backbreakingly for the satisfaction of our clients due to which we were, all, we were also awarded as the most reliable academic writing agency in India in 2022. I can surely say that all our hard work and efforts and uh, and our aim of helping students by all means possible are the reasons that we have expanded our wings in the huge and the open sky and are flying towards success. Seeking our help will definitely become your strength and, a, and investment. 
If I was able to resolve all your doubts and confusion regarding 500 and 1000 words SOP differences, then don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updated whenever we upload our new videos. Comment down below your queries and call us at our, at our designated number or you can simply mail us on our given mail ID. See you soon on the next video. Till then, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.